are looking forward to wear it. So the whites, the reds, yeah, grays, it's like there's a lot of different choices you guys got. These guys want. I think it's the red. I like that red. I like how the red looks. The red, this font, or the script Ohio red. Yeah. Okay. So I went. So I grew up in Ohio. Stuff like that. I went to the North Carolina games a couple years ago where they wore this on the road. Those are pretty clean. Those look. So. Did you watch that game off? I don't know. Like, were you watching North Carolina? Well, that was when Cole Anthony was playing for North Carolina. No? Okay, but, like, they looked, Dwayne Washington, like, looking clean in those. Um, I saw EJ Malak- Malachi, sorry, Malachi were back. Did you get to talk to those guys? Oh, yeah, I talked to them for a little bit. Yeah? What would they have to say? Anything special? Uh, they just gave, like, little pointers and stuff, like, we need to get better at, um, things we need to do better as a team. Yeah. What have you been working on this offseason yeah. to no, get better in a simple role and slide on? I've been just working tirelessly on everything, really. My body, my, what I eat, just yeah. watching what I eat, my nutrition, um, getting shots in, three pointers, working on head mobility, strength. I'm noticing a trend with a lot of guys working on their diets here. Felix gaining weight. Bruce is gaining weight. Did you gain or lose weight within this offseason, or have you stayed around? what you came in also things that I haven't seen okay that's yeah, yeah, just with the diet and working out more so okay just anything specific you're eating or doing in the gym that's different guys and older guys and I think that's what you have I feel like in high school I've never really had like a diet plan to like sit down and really eat good things and lay down and like eat really good food yeah yeah because Felix he talked about his like welcome to college basketball when was playing Zach Heady and he's like wait I need I need some more muscle from going against this guy like I got the height but I don't have the weight have they been teaching you that and preaching that a little bit? Like, the Big Ten's no joke, and you got Alabama on your roster. you got Texas A&M, I believe, on your schedule as well. So, like, you have these teams coming up. you got to feel good and play good against these teams, right? Yeah, so, like, is there anything specific that, like, the team's been working on conditioning-wise, or is it just the same that's always been? Regardless of what the role is, maybe it's a sport, maybe it's a guy just Really the lifting but I think conditioning, everything, really. We've been doing miles, the 17s of the day. Yeah. Just heavy lifting, really, sometimes. Um, just trying to get stronger. Everybody gets stronger because this is the big team, like you said. And it's not like the little boy league. So you have to have some weight on it. The little boy league, I like that. Thank you, Scotty. Good luck. Scotty, what do you see your role being in for this team this season? Uh, really a guy who does everything. Guard, uh, leads the team sometimes when needed. Um, I can score on all three levels. And just wants to win. A guy that's going to be competitive every possession. That said, let me ask you a question that may not follow into that answer, but where do you feel most comfortable on the floor? What position? That they know you can get to. It may be hard. It may be. Well, high school, I played the one to five. Right. So, things that you don't want to hear, but anywhere. Anywhere I'm at, I'm just trying to do my best in that position. Yeah. Which one, which side of the ball do you prefer to play? Is it offense or is it defense? Defense. Really? Why? Defense is an art. And I feel like some people master it. Um, and when you master it and you truly like, sit down and watch people play defense, it's really hard. So I love defense. Evan said the same thing. Is there anything that you've learned from him so far? You know, Him just bringing his knowledge from Penn State, having maybe you know, just one year of experience on you guys, but how have you seen him transform in this offseason and how has he helped you maybe assimilate to playing college basketball? We have similar games and we pretty much look the same. Um, slim, uh, have some muscle. Yeah. Um, I learned from him probably how he plays defense. Like he, he's really physical. Uh, he gets low and uses his length. So I've been just learning little tips and just seeing little things that he does on defense and just trying to put it in my, my bag. He was talking about a camping trip that you guys took. What was that experience like for you? Was it kind of a team bonding thing? Uh, no phones. So. It really gave so us a chance to like sit down and get to know our teammates better than we have because you know most of the guys haven't been as much time that, with the freshmen, so you know, just in really getting a chance to sit down with all the guys, play games, laugh, just to know people. Was that something that you expected? You know, coming to this program, you know, is that something that you? anticipated happening in your first year of college basketball like having a trip like that where you're able to get away and kind of meet your teammates and be able to feel more comfortable around those guys i actually didn't expect to have a trip like that with new phones and stuff but i think it's good for us. it was good definitely good for us because we got to 
sit down and learn more about each other than we would have if yeah, we had a yeah, sure. like uh, Bruce was talking earlier about how you know he's really stepped into a leadership role this offseason and at this point you know he considers himself a captain I don't know if that's made official yet but how have you seen him as a leader what kind of leadership style does he have uh, he's a very vocal leader he's an everyday guy so I think just seeing him every day coming in here no matter if it's 6 in the morning or we have a 3 p.m. Um, left or anything like that he's always coming with energy just being the most vocal guy from the start has there been anybody else that's kind of stepped up as a leader this offseason and have you even yourself stepped into a leadership role at times I feel like everybody is becoming pretty much a leader of their own um, more guys on this team some guys aren't as vocal as others but um, we're pretty much making everybody become more vocal um, because if we want to win we all have to talk and do things that we're not comfortable with how has your first semester been so far on Ohio State's campus? Yeah, it's been good. I've been meeting new people, talking to a lot of new people, getting to know people that I probably wouldn't talk to outside of basketball. Right. Getting to know people outside of my company. Yeah. Are you living with anybody on the team? Uh, I live with all the freshmen. Really? Where do you guys live? In Neil. Okay. Has there been any spot around there that's you know, been one of your favorites to visit so far? Has it been like Adriatico's or Brugger's or any of those places? We eat Chipotle in a while in high school. Really? <laughs> we eat all of we That's kind of a long walk. walk. No, we usually drive there. Okay, that makes sense. I was going to say, it's a long trek getting over there. Uh, and then, you know, kind of continuing with that discussion, has there been, you know, any adjustment yeah, for you when it comes to a lot of people may not your academics? Days, you know, taking the, taking the move from high school and now being in college, have you had a good balance of in-person and online? Are you doing all in-person? What's that schedule look like for you? Uh, it's pretty much half and half, so okay. like, still some online and right. some in yeah. person. Big Minnesota it's been a good balance, just right. learning how to manage your time with class and eating and basketball, um, also doing homework. Oh, yeah. so it's been good. What can people expect or what should maybe people know, you know about a Division One athlete that plays basketball at Ohio State, the kind of schedule that's required of you guys, the kind of expectations that the coaching staff and maybe your teammates have for you as a freshman, you know, to maybe be in the gym more, to maybe be in the weight room more. Like, What does your day-to-day -day schedule look like? And maybe was that something that you weren't expecting or were expecting heading into this experience? Well, data, day in a life, Take wake shot. up early, but yeah. <laughs> you go to class, um, you, gotta get, you gotta eat before you go to the two, you know what I mean? What did you seek out? And pretty much when the day's done, um, go to the gym, get some work in, go back, do some homework, really just chill with the guys in the living room.